welcome. Hey. Hi, guys. Welcome back. We're going to the wrecked. Fucking wrecked. Sh- the wrecked. Get your shit wrecked, bruh. Sh- ship. S- Gotta make sure that I accent that properly. Hoo-ha! So you know how I just said the Konami code? Mm-hmm. So this semester, well, last year this time, too, I'm working on a web site for uh, students at RIT that helps them enroll because the current enrollment tool kind of sucks dick. <laughs> so it's just more user-friendly and easier to use. Right. But one of the things I put in there was an Easter egg with the Konami code. That's so if you type in up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B-A. Like the words or the actual like pattern? The, the, on, no, the, on like it, the arrow keys. Yeah, if you do the arrow keys and then type actually hit B-A, the text. Uh, yeah. You'll get a, a nice little Easter egg on the website. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> so for our presentation, we had to present to like some higher ups at RIT, just you know, tell them what we're doing and the the things that like we're trying to do. Right. And for that, well, I yeah, for that final presentation for our advisors, essentially, we created a presentation. And I thought since the date was going to be on May fourth, I'd put a little Star Wars thing in there. And so I used a nice little Star Wars intro to start off the presentation, and I put that. As the Konami code Easter egg That's on the amazing. website. So what does it do? What specifically happens with like with Star Wars? Like just a video plays or? Well, actually, it's um, it's it's pretty much a video. It looks like a video, but it's actually rendered website like HTML code. Okay. So it just shows. It just scrolls the text, and it says, "Well, because the, the the group is called the Student IT Office, but it's shortened to SITO, so we call it CITO. Okay. So it's it just has that as the intro. It says CITO. Um, I don't remember what the <laughs> subtitle I put. I was. Don't fucking know. And then it just has a description of like our names and stuff and what we're doing. So it's kind of funny. That's that is cool. It's it's, it's a cute little thing I did. <laughs> Can you? This is, I had two things I wanted to talk about. Just don't forget. To, uh, well, I'll show you in a second. But um, <laughs> you got. Can uh, you explain the difference to me about? Yes. Uh, HTML and um, wasn't it um, fuck, Flash before? Wasn't it originally everything was Flash and it switched over to HTML? Uh, like how does that? Wh- why did why did the entire internet protocol essentially switch over to HTML? I think it's because HTML is a lot easier to use. I'm actually not too familiar with Flash and how Flash works at all. I think it's um, it's. Flash is not used as like the website itself. It's used inside the website. Yeah, it's like a plugin, right? Yeah, more or less. Yeah. Um, so I think people have veered away from using Flash as a plugin just because it wasn't it wasn't supported very well, I don't think, and didn't usually work as intended all the time. So people stopped using it <sighs> as much. Fuck. But HTML is basically it. just it's uh, I I think I'm getting this correct. It stands for hypertext markup language. Okay. So it's just basically the format for how to how your page is displayed. That's essentially all it's doing. It's okay. showing how to display the page. And there are some things you can do within HTML that because over the time they've added Ugh. more features. But you really need other other like additional like libraries and other things like JavaScript right. or jQuery, things like that. Okay. To help actually make your page a little more interesting. And then on top of that there are other Libraries that use those technologies to make it even more easy to use things like Angular JS, which is built on top of JavaScript, to help make your page even easier That's to create. Ins- that sounds like insanity, dude. Yeah, there's a lot of like overhead and, in learning these things. And well, like, and you enjoy, you still enjoy doing all that? Um, yes. The programming, yes. The sometimes the like the web portion of it. Like doing all the HTML, JavaScript, like all that stuff kind of gets boring sometimes for right. me. Like it's not as interesting. I like creating something that gets out to users, but it gets really complicated really quick if you don't do it right. Right. <laughs> and like once there's a lot of stuff and you don't do all the like the good Ugh. procedures, it just gets awful to mess with. So I'm sometimes sure. it gets a How'd little miss? out of hand. I like I like more of the base program like Java and C and Python and stuff like that. Okay. Yeah. It's cool. I like learning new languages and new things. Damn it. Come on, do your fucking swarpy warm fuck do thing already. Do the eye thing. So, um, the... I, he hasn't done it yet, so I can't show you what the fuck I'm talking about. Do I don't know if it's thing. because I didn't, haven't hit him with any super missiles yet, but, uh... Oh, you have to? 
you have to do enough damage to oh well I fucking killed him now so never mind. <laughs> it's when uh, you know how like when he goes to the top center of the screen and like he does like the waves of fire like it goes back uh -huh. and forth. If you do like the fake screw attack like this where you jump through it, yeah. the flames won't hit you <laughs> no matter what. It's a it's a fault. I don't know if it's in the coding or if they intentionally did it, but they will not hurt you. Period. Nice. And that's why. Whoa! Why did that not just fire? You saw that right? Yeah. I let go and she didn't blast. That's so weird. What is going on? With this cartridge. Man. My child is dying before my eyes. <laughs> Did you see, speaking of like old games and like coding and Easter eggs and stuff, did you see the, the little, or little Mac, the punch out one uh, that this guy discovered? On. Uh, well, on, like in the game? Yeah, in the game. Uh, it was, um, I, there's probably been people that discovered it before, but like, I don't remember which guy that you're fighting, but certain fights, isn't it? there's a guy in the background. I thought that, it was uh, Glass Joe or whatever his name, like the very first guy. Maybe. I don't remember. Oh, okay. so you did, you did see it? I, I saw an article from Kotaku. It was a sponsored. Yeah, but I recently, don't right? Rem yeah, but I don't remember. Like, I didn't read it. Yeah. Well, I was like, oh, I'll get to it. It's I essentially just a, a little, like, hint. So, like, when you're fighting certain, I think, two different guys, it, it happens. There's a guy in the background with, like, a, a beard or mustache kind of thing, like, in the center left on the screen. Okay. And, like, when he does a little duck movement, mm -hmm. that's immediately when you want to like punch okay. because it'll be a one hit uh knockout pretty much really or like yeah a, okay or like the best possible like damage or something i think it's a one hit kill for both of them. there i know that like punch out um focuses a lot on what's called dizzy hits um yeah. if you watched our play uh, mine and rob's playthrough of uh of super punch out on super nintendo uh -huh. um the first guy you fight gabby J is insanely easy it's basically like a warm-up round to make you get a yeah, control for the feels Wow, control for the, <laughs> God damn it. It's because yes, I'm just talking and playing. I feel for the controls. And uh, I don't need to go that way. And um, essentially, like, uh, you can you can dizzy him with, like, two... Oh, shit. Uh, like, two hits. It's really not hard at all. Yeah. And, like, basically, if you uh, finish him with... Uh, while he's dizzy, like, you do one strong punch, it'll be basically like a one-hit KO. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And... The record, I think the world record for like Gabby J's dizzy hit is like literally like four seconds. Wow. You, you start the match and he's, he's done. It's it's insane or some shit like that. Yeah. yeah. I don't know how like how people do it because I can never land it. I got one dizzy hit on him. Yeah. And I was really it's happy crazy. about it. But you like, you have to know the their timing. patterns timing perfectly. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's basically what this guy, Ooh. what the Easter egg or I don't even know if you want to call it an Easter egg. But like that's what that thing was doing. It was giving you a hint about shit. when to attack. Right. Oh, God. Oh god! Ooh, ooh. There we go. Yeah! And we get the purple suit now. I always love like new stuff. What um, you know I have Super Mario All Stars sitting there ooh. on my. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if you ever had that, but it's uh, it's like a um starts with the word I'm looking for starts with a C. Not it's uh compilation. Yeah, thank you. A compilation. Oh wait, of, yes, I did have that. That's the exact one I had. Yeah, it's got uh, Mario Bros. One, one, but the rebuilt version of it for Super Nintendo's got. Yeah. Two rebuilt for Super. All of them yeah. are rebuilt. It's got one, two, yeah. three, and the lost levels. And you can drop me. I don't remember having the lost levels though. The lost levels was a Japanese only release. No, I, yeah, I do know that, but I don't remember if mine. I don't remember ever playing the lost levels. Oh, it, it's really hard. Actually, oh, yeah. it's like insanely hard. It was supposed to be. I, I saw this in a video once. It was supposed to be the second one, but they thought it was too hard for the American people, so they didn't release it. As the second one. Did you know they did that with Final Fantasy Mystic Quest as well? Really? But they, they released, it, they released it to the Americans, but what they did is... Um, Dumbed it down. Yeah, what they for did... For stupid Americans. So like, what, I fu what the fuck? I definitely... I think you put a normal bomb back. I, but I, I had the power bomb extent. Look, watch. Watch the quickly. replay. You went oh, too quickly. <laughs> I, can't, I guess. Um, so... Um, Got a. There we go. Okay. You were saying they released. They released it in. Ah, ooh, ooh, right there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. And, and um. I love that. So cool. Oh, it's fantastic. Okay, so and. There we go. Reserve tank. They gave. They released Mystic Quest in the U.S., but you know how with normal Final Fantasies, it's just you just run around, you find shit, and you yeah, beat it's shit. Just basic RPG. Yeah. And right. And in the new or not new, but in Mystic Quest. Uh huh. They were like, well, the Americans can't do this, so what we're going to do is... Ah, oh, damn it. We're, <laughs> Wrong we're, one. We're going to uh, essentially... I know it's over here. Where the fuck is it? Hello? Why? What is... <laughs> <laughs> I think this controller's a little wonky there. Oh, I forgot about that, actually. <laughs> um, that. I'm not worried about it. 
They made it so, like, instead of being able to walk around in a free world, you literally just had arrow destinations that you could walk to. It was a guided path to the end of the game. What? Yeah, it's really upsetting. And it's of one of my BS. favorite games, actually. But it's still really frustrating for, like... Like, story-wise, it's your favorite? Or gameplay, too? It's still fun gameplay-wise. Uh-huh. And, like, when you're in the dungeon itself... Yeah. Um... By the way, that uh, this reminds me so much of Aaron's like that's good fucking game design because like you get the new gravity suit and you're like oh what I wonder what this one does and it drops you immediately in the water which you've right. already encountered at some point <laughs> so you know now I can move quickly in water I'm you like, know oh, what, what the gravity suit does right there's no confusion because mm. that happens in uh, Zelda <gasps> oh. quite a few times yes I think that's intentional just to make the game more difficult yeah but, like you get something you're like. I have absolutely no idea what to do that with this. Yep. Like, um, so many dungeons in an ocarina of time. I was just lost. I was just like, am I stupid? What am I missing? Where's the thing I'm supposed to do to get this last chest? Well, like, like, oh, shit. It's like, what? what's going on? Right. Oh, fuck oh, off. Man, you All, right. Go All right. No, I don't. I'm just, I'm uh, going around. Oh, come on, Samus. Don't fucking start with me. You should have switched controllers again. It's no. I can do it. I can fuck. I would have already been through there if I just went back through the door. Yep. I don't want to talk about it. Oh. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. All right, guys. We'll catch you next time. Bye. Bye.